So now we're going to bring that mesh uh, into 3D Max. And I'm on a different computer now, I'm at home. And I've been saving everything in my Dropbox file, so it, uh, they should all have synced up. Just whilst this is all loading, I'm using um, a home license of 3D Max. So if you have a copy at the office, you can um, you can license a copy for at home as well. And uh, I'm also using V-Ray at home here as well. And its license is being activated, or it's getting its license uh, over the internet from a license server um, back at my office. Uh, so that's useful. It means it works. Uh, you know, I can work from home. Uh, I'm going to make sure the system units are in meters for this and I'm going to open this file here which is the starting file and uh, it's not a completely blank file it does have a um, V-Ray Sun Sky system already in there and it does have all the rendering settings for V-Ray set up which is working Found the license, and it does have um, some materials in here as well that we're going to use, uh, and we'll go through those in just a second. Uh, so to bring in uh, the OBJ, we'll go to Import. Uh, I'll go to the project plot folder I'm using. Which is this guy here. I'm not going to change any of those settings. I'm not too I'm not worried that it hasn't found uh, the materials. We're not going to be using those anyway. Um, I I do have the Sun Sky system on a separate layer, and I'm going to turn those off here whilst I work. And if you can't find your layer manager, you need to go to Customize, Show UI, and it'll be one of the floating toolbars if you haven't docked it. And that's where that is. And you can see it's brought the mesh in um, nicely. Uh, it separated it as well. It separated it um, according to the different components in Onyx Tree. So there's a trunk, then the boughs, uh, branch one and branch two. And uh, we didn't we didn't export anything above that. We turned those off because we don't need them. They have too much detail really. Um, so we'll choose all of those guys and. Um, We'll go back to these materials that I had set up. These are materials that it that it's brought in, um, which we're not going to use. Now, the first material we're going to use is uh, just a. It's just got a checker bitmap in the diffuse slot here, and it's just going to help me um, line up the textures. Uh, so I'll apply that to everything, and it's showing it in the viewport here. And if we zoom in going to have some problems with the viewport clipping so we can go to the viewport clipping let's make that a bit more generous uh, that's because of we're working in meters and it's a fairly small object but uh, there we go so you can see it's stretching that texture um, right up to the top of the trunk and it's tiling once around it so we want to change that we don't really want to do any complicated unwrapping, we just want to do it very quickly. So I'm going to use a UVW X form and I'm just going to make it tile more in uh, the V direction. If I press F4, it'll just turn the um, edges off so I can see what I'm doing. And I just want the texture to be square. something like that is fine so I'll just round that off maybe uh, six is good and uh, I can copy that and then paste it onto the next uh, object we'll just get a bit closer and you can see again it's stretching the texture along the length so I'll just paste I don't want an instance so I'm just going to paste a copy in because I, I might want to change it um, and I'm not, I'm not worried about the scale. Uh, I'm more worried about the uh, texture appearing square. Um, so I think that needs to be a little less. There we go. 
and then the same for this this part branch one fine and then branch two okay so I'm happy with that uh, I'm going to choose the trunk and collapse it and then I'm going to attach all the other parts there we go and uh, if you wanted to change uh, the, the, um, the scale of that texture again uh, you just um, put an X-Form, UVW X-Form on top again and it will change the whole thing all at the same time. Uh, so I'm done with that texture. I'm going to put on the material that I'm going to use and this is a multi-sub-object material and uh, all of the parts of the trunk and the branches they're all going to have material ID 1. We can just check that if we go to element here on the tree and uh, I have a keyboard shortcut set up uh, to select invert as I so if I press that it will have select it will select everything for me and I'm just going to check that those are all material ID there we go ID 1 so if I apply this material uh, this multi sub object material um, it, the, the object should pick up the trunk material there we go and uh, I d haven't used any complicated material settings here. Uh, uh, I've just got a map in the diffuse slot uh, with a color correct uh, uh, to change, make it a bit darker. Um, and the texture I'm using is uh, just a tiling texture, square texture of a sort of a tree trunk material there. And if I click show standard map in viewport, it'll appear on the trunk here. There we go. Uh, so that's a tree trunk, uh, and with the material that we're going to use, uh, the next thing we're going to do is create uh, the leaf, and, um, and then we'll have the assets that we need to uh, make the the um, topiary tree that we're going to be using. Now I'm going to save it now. I'm going to save it as 002. I did start this uh, earlier and uh, I'm going to save over that yes right so I, d I did create that file back at the office and then I heard the microphone wasn't wasn't very good so uh, we're just going to we're going to start from this point now um, so we're going to create the leaf and um, I'm going to use the bitmap in the leaf material as my guide to create this um, and that's going to be uh, material ID 2 and uh, if I look the bitmap I'm using it's a square image so if I map that to a plane I'm going to create it in the top viewport uh, and that'll start that'll about that size but we can scale it uh, anyway so that the scale doesn't really matter here um, we don't need it to be um, this complicated we're going to have a lot of these so we don't want it to be too complicated that's, that's probably fine um, and apply this material it should uh, look like tree trunk because it's material one at the moment so we can choose a uh, material modifier and we'll set that to 2 and it should pick up uh, um, material ID 2 now which is the leaf and if I ask this bitmap to be uh, um, shown in the viewport I don't know why it's sulking uh, it's because um, I've got the real world map size set here but not in the material editor so I'm going to turn that off Underneath uh, that material, I'm going to put a, an edit poly. I'm just going to adjust the vertices uh, so that it fits the outline of the leaf. In fact, what I have to do is also put a, 
a UVW map. And I'm going to work underneath that. So I should be able to move these vertices around and uh, see the mapping where it should be correctly. So I'm going to just move these middle guys to the, the spine of the leaf. guys in There we go. And uh, I don't want this leaf to be perfectly flat. Um, so I'm going to just add a quick bend modifier to it. that on again uh, I, I want that to bend the leaf uh, up at the edges if I turn the grid off you'll be able to see a bit better here uh, so this would be a minus number just a, just a little bit ok there we go Got to give that a, a name so I know what it is in the scene, and make sure I've done the same with that. That's fine. Um, and whilst we uh, whilst we're doing this, I'll go over that leaf material with you. Um, I've created, if I bring up the material navigator, um, material one is the trunk, so that's pretty simple up there. The leaf is a more complicated material. Um, and I'm using a V-Ray um, two-sided material here. Um, so I've got a, a material for the front. And it's this darker colour here. And then I have a reflection map on there. Uh, to control where it's uh, reflecting. I, I think this is a bit of overkill really. I don't know if you'd ever see this, but uh, there you go. Um, on the back I've got a, a lighter colour, uh, that's the, the underside of the leaf, I want it to appear lighter. And, uh, and for the translucency, uh, which um, uh, controls uh, how translucent the leaf is, I'm using another map there. And it's just saying I, I want it to be more translucent uh, outside of uh, where the veins uh, of the leaf are. And uh, that it's a great leaf material, and um, there's a. If you want to find out more about that, there's a an excellent website, uh, Peter Guthrie's website, where he goes into some detail about that uh, material. It's brilliant. Um, Peter Graf Peter Guthrie dot net blog, and if you have a look in there, you'll you'll, you'll see um, you'll find out a bit more about that material. Uh, but I don't want to spend too long on the materials because I know not everyone is using V-Ray, so. Right, uh, I'm going to save that as 002, and uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, decide on a shape for this tree. <laughs> 